Hi guys, uh, it's Orietta here and um, I'm um, filming my February update. Uh, it has been an interesting month. I started out with the MAD Head UK retreat in Crewe near Manchester. I was there for three days and uh, it was really really a lot of fun and uh, I think you saw already some footage from this teacher Bonnie and uh, Carrie and Marika also talk about it so I'm not gonna talk about it too much I'm just saying that it was awesome I met a lot of uh, great people and um, really some awesome friends so I'm really glad I went uh, and I already signed up for next year so <laughs> I'm definitely going back so um, just go to my stitching so uh, last time I claimed that I finished the trio stitches well I didn't uh, I forgot I had uh, beads in order because I didn't have any so when I came back uh, from um, the retreat uh, I got the beads and uh, I put them on so here is how it look like you can see there are they are clear color they're not very visible but yeah it was my first time beading and uh, it was fun. In fact, uh, I think I'm going to do it again. I already started. <laughs> so that was the finished, finished object. Not fully finished, but fully stitched and beaded as I forgot. Okay, so then um, at the retreat uh, I was supposed to stitch, uh, I didn't stitch much at all because uh, I had a bad migraine most all the time so uh, I ended up doing uh, my thread card for uh, the two projects um, I was needing uh, and uh, I just did a little bit of stitching on um, uh, Lucy piece, uh, the dragon rip, I stitched part of her black uh, and uh, she made part of my thread card as we were got we bought a board and we decided to swap boring job hoping it would get better and it did so and the other thing i did i did a little bit on the daisy blue but not much so um i i everything you see i stitched after i came back from the retreat but uh, before I talk about uh, Daisy Blue, I want to show you the frame I made. I worked uh, all this morning sewing. I cut the pieces and saw my frame and um, I had uh, this idea for quite a bit. I thought and thought, I wasn't really sure how to do it. I'm, I'm, I can't even say I'm a beginner at sewing because I'm, I'm not even a beginner. I just improvising <laughs> as I do most of my stuff. Anyway, I wanted to do a frame cover that was going to work, uh, that was going to be always on the frame. So I could leave it there when, while I stitch, when it's mounted on the stand, and then it could stay on when I put the project away to work on another one. So uh, what I thought about was something that I'm gonna call the curtain frame cover. Uh, um, word that escaping me today so bear with me so uh, what I did was uh, I saw a cylinder of fabric and then uh, I put some around some elastic thread around a few parts and I made it big enough so my frame would fit either even when um, when it's uh, you know uh, left uh, um, not in tension and then even if I tension it all the way it would still fit so the way it work is uh, it just uh, wrap the entire length of the frame and when I have to, I'm stitching on it what I do is I just pull up this and uh, the clamp will be here on the lowering I have the longest tension for the um, extension for the long frame and uh, I uh, uncover only the part I'm stitching on and when I'm done stitching I can pull this up uh, and cover it so it stays protected when I'm not stitching but it's also protected when I'm stitching because uh, 
only the part of uh, the fabric I'm working on is exposed. So this is my curtain frame cover. Hope you like it. It might give somebody an idea. I haven't seen this anywhere else. It's something I was thinking about and I just whip up this morning and it came out pretty good. I'm quite happy with it. So talking about my progress, uh, this is a uh, uh, Daisy Blue, a uh, Heaven and Art Design by uh, Joe Lynch. I think uh, I haven't uh, reviewed, I should have looked at my old video. Anyway, I think last time you saw it, uh, I had completed the heads challenge. So I had 10 square of uh, 10 by 10 stitches. And uh, after I came back from the retreat, I pretty much uh, completely completed uh, the two column. I filled up uh, all the gap. Um, about the challenge, uh, I would say that uh, it was interesting to see to stitch that way. And um, I kind of liked it. It was fun. One thing I didn't like uh, was that uh, the it made the back uh, look like, uh, I don't know. I'm gonna show you. It's disgusting. <laughs> I'm usually pretty proud of my back. They look uh, neat, much neater than that. But uh, uh, this way of stitching, uh, uh, going across in a diagonal, make for a messier back. So I don't think I will stick to that system. But it was fun. So that's Daisy Blue. And uh, the next project I worked on was my World Travel bookshelf. And uh, I made a cover for it too, cover everything. The difference uh, from this cover to the smaller one is that being this uh, a humongous frame, I pretty much divided in two separate pieces. So the way I'm gonna use it is that this part will be clamped on the stand and this part will be free to move. So when I'm not stitching, I cover the whole thing up. And when I'm stitching, I slide it over. And uh, so I have uh, pretty much only the page or so where I'm working on exposed. So last time you see those, this, uh, I was uh, about here. I had uh, f uh, started to stitch uh, this page. It's a 20th page I stitched uh, on this project and uh, I finished the page. So there it is. It's fun. It's, uh, I, these two pages uh, I think were uh, a little more boring than usual. I believe I became a confetti junkie. <laughs> when there is a lot of confetti, I get bored. But, and the, the color palette is kind of all green and gray and you know, the alpaca or llama, whatever it is, it's uh, all white and it was a big patch of one color. So, but you know, it still came out pretty good. If you want to see the whole thing, I can just slide off my, open my curtain <laughs> and uh, here it is. So this is World Travel bookshelf. I finished 20 pages in about a year and a half. I'm pretty happy about it. It'll take a while to finish it. We all know that. So up next is a new start. So uh, while I was stitching the trio stitches the other month, I found it really fun and uh, I thought it was a nice uh, change from the other full coverage piece I have. So I decided to, I had a pattern that my friend Gwen uh, gifted me for my birthday and uh, I decided I would like to start it. So the pattern is uh, Sweethearts from Needlework Expression. Ah, uh, Northern, from Northern Expression Needlework, sorry. And uh, I'm stitching it uh, on uh, a piece of fabric that was uh, custom dyed for me by Marika at Crafty Bits Creation. And I wanted a white model, you know, variegated white and gray color. And she made this for me like the day before the retreat. And I think it came out awesome. It was exactly what I wanted. 
and um, this is how much I have done so far. I'm bidding as I go. I'm not sure it's advisable, but so far so good. Um, I have graded the, the project is really small. It's just going to be like uh, like here and there. Um, but I started without grading, I was ambitious, but uh, the, the first day I ended up frogging more than I stitched her, so I decided that wasn't the way to go. For this kind of geometrical pattern, uh, having a grid really helps a lot, because uh, I, since I put the grid on, I never ever frogged anything, but maybe a couple of stitches here and there, so I'm pretty happy the way it's going. I think I will work on it until it's finished. And uh, I also want to talk about, oh, and uh, it's stitched with uh, a fiberlicious thread. It's a spun silk in the color Opal Galaxy. And I'm using uh, two mill heel uh, beads. And they are like an opalescent color. I forgot the number. I will, if I remember, I I'll write them down below. And uh, one thing I want to say about the uh, spun silk, uh, it's really nice, uh, I love it. It has a wonderful feeling and uh, it stitched up really good. Uh, what was happening to me while I stitched uh, was that uh, uh, most of the time I would uh, somehow split the thread with my needle and my thread, my ne my thread would get up uh, end up uh, tangling together and I had to, you know, find where the needle went through and put it through. It was a mess and uh, it was really frustrating. So I was talking to, uh, I talked to Denise, uh, uh, this teacher, she has uh, a bigger experience than me on working with silk and uh, we're trying to figure out what I was doing that was causing that issue. And uh, it turned out uh, it was the way I was stitching because I would I stitched two-handed, so I would pull my needle in the back, turn it around, and pull it back to the front. Well, somehow doing that, uh, I ended up splitting the thread, and I was having all those issues, and I was constantly untangling. So now I make sure I pull my thread all the way to the back, and then turn around and pull it all the way to the front. Well, since I have started doing that. It hasn't happened again. I, maybe it happened once. So that's that was a great advice, and uh, it worked. And um, it's more much more fun to work now that uh, I'm not constantly frogging or constantly untangling. So definitely that was a plus. So this is with hearts, and uh, that is all the progress I had this month. Um, I think uh, I will, uh, the, the plan for next month, uh, I don't have a plan. <laughs> I'm probably going to keep working on Sweet Arts until it's finished and then I see how I feel. I don't think I'm going to work on Daisy Blue until I know what the uh, challenge, the next uh, head challenge is going to be, uh, because I kind of started that piece to work with the challenge. Unless it's, you know, 10 stitch, then I will have to pick up another. So after I finish this, either we go back to world travel or maybe I pull out a dragon rip and do a little bit of that, but I don't know. Um, while I was at the retreat, I took advantage uh, to order a few things because uh, it was cheaper to have them delivered to one of my friends in the UK than having it delivered to Italy. So I um, picked up a few pattern and I'm going to show you quickly. The first one I put, I picked up, uh, um, it's a Victoria sampler and it's called the Desert Garden sampler, sampler. And this is how it looks like. It's uh, a picture of different uh, uh, garden in a desert environment. And I thought it was really nice. And uh, I bought it together with the thread and bead pack. pack from so and so because um, I actually found this before I found this and this was 50% off and this was like uh, also heavily discounted so I thought it was a, a good deal and I really like the design so it's probably going to be started soonish I don't know <laughs> then the other purchase is uh, something I have been drawing over for a very long time 
and um, every time I look at the pattern, I really say, uh, I don't know. And then uh, I, and then John at the track garden post an update and show her version, which is stitched in all in one big piece. And I said, oh my God, I have to have that. So yeah, I got the Prairie School alphabet, all of them. You have seen this several times, so I'm not gonna show them all, but yeah, <laughs> I fell head first in the Prairie School bandwagon for the alphabet and um, I th I think it's a really neat project and my plan is to stitch it in a uh, just one big piece of fabric and I'm probably going to stitch it all either a 25 or 27 count and over one so it won't be too huge so no idea when that will happen though and sometime doesn't matter okay so I think this is all I have for this. Oh, I forgot something. On my trio of stitches, uh, my friend Tracy P, <laughs> she named my animal. So the owl here is a hoodie and the little bunny here is a hopi. So yeah, I forgot to, to say it last time and there it is. She named them. She's going to name all the animals I'm going to stitch from now on because she is really good at that. <laughs> okay, so I hope you had a great month of stitching and really grateful for all the comment and the like and the subscribe. I, I had so many, I couldn't believe it. I'm really blown away and everybody has been super nice. And um, I hope some of my tips and tricks and my... Uh, pathetic sewing uh, project <laughs> will uh, look interesting and maybe somebody can do the same and have some help with their stitching. So I'll see you next month and have fun stitching. Bye!